Hello, Internet. Hey, guys. We have got something pretty cool for you today. Yes, we have discovered technology that can send us through YouTube inside your mind. That is right. But for it to work, you need to watch this video using headphones. Yeah, so if you don't have any, pause this now, go grab some headphones, and sit somewhere quiet. We'll just give you a moment. Um, what are you doing, Phil? The pausing moment. Oh, oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> Unpause. All headphoned up. Nice. And one more thing, you have to close your eyes. So, we are going to blindfold you, yeah. and after we count down from three, you have to close your eyes and keep them closed the whole time, okay? Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the Dan and Phil 3D audiobook trailer. <laughs> oh, sorry, was that a bit close to your face? Um, Phil? Phil, what are you doing over there? Just blowing up some balloons for decoration. <laughs> um, Phil, they're blindfolded. Oh, yeah. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Yes, sorry about that. Let's just begin the initiation ceremony. Yes, okay. If you want to spend some quality time with Dan and Phil, you need to look the part. Phil, pass me that Sharpie. Okay. Just one sec. Here you go. Thank you. Right, which side do you want? Left or right? Uh, I think I'm going to go over here. Really? Okay. <laughs> right. I'll take this side. Here we go. Okay, I'll go first. Whisker one, whisker two, and whisker three. All right, my turn. Whisker, whisker, whisker. Oh, I'm very close to you right now. I hope this isn't invasive. Well, I think we're definitely in their personal bubble, Phil. Wait, um, can you smell my breath? <sighs> Ooh. Minty. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Hey, wouldn't you be freaking out if someone did this to you, Dan? I mean, you hate people getting really close to your ears and neck. Yeah, something about whispering in ears. I just find it really invasive. You know, kind of like this. Isn't it just the worst when you can hear all of the mouth noises? Phil! Sorry. Okay, now to add the nose. And you're done! Right, I think we should calm things down a bit. Let's set the mood. All right, I'll get my candle. <laughs> Ooh, it's my favourite scent. Otter musk. Right, okay, I'll play some music. <clears throat> One second. Mm. What kind of mood is this supposed to be, Dan? Oh, well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, yeah. you're right, you're right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's better. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> let's tell you about our audiobook. Yes, if you guys enjoyed The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire, or if you just love audiobooks, then this is the thing for you. Mm -hmm. Not only do you get us sensually reading it in your ears, but there is loads of behind-the-scenes commentary on this book and irrelevant banter just like this. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Amazing Book Is Not On Fire. Fire! Wait, shouldn't it be The Amazing Audiobook Is Not On Fire? Yeah, I probably should, should be. Should we do that again, or should we just... Let, let's just keep going. And this. Baby Dan is in the picture on the right. Looks like a little gremlin wrapped so, whoa, in a towel. Whoa, a halo of a towel. you just three minutes old a gremlin? Like a little Ewok. Dude. An Ewok gremlin. Oh, stop. And then your mum looks proud, even though... Even though she's given birth to an Ewok. She's been cut up like a side of beef. Yeah, thank you, Phil. Thank you, mum. And this. Phil's chat logs. Dan, you should totally do the voices for my northern friends. That, that's a terrible idea. I, I don't think we, is, is that happening? It's happening. Okay. Phil and Rachel. My mum says there's a ghost in the apartment. When you shiver, it's a ghost tickling your ass bones. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that voice to come out of you. It's an amazing bonus experience for anyone who enjoyed the book. Plus, who doesn't want 180 minutes of Dan and Phil joking around inside their ears? It's available now from iTunes and other audiobook websites, and there are links below in the description. And there we go. Oh my god, Dan! What? The candle set fire to the curtains! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> now what do we do? What, what do we do? Oh my god, okay, cover the flames so it has no oxygen. Oh. Use this towel. Okay. Ah! It's not working! No, Phil, stop it! You're just fanning the flames! I'm trying! Oh my god, right, that's it! I'm hitting the sprinklers! Ah, that's so cold! Why did you do that? Uh, so we didn't die in a fire? Yeah, okay. You were almost... Dan is on fire! Phil. The only thing that could possibly make this situation worse is terrible puns. Well, look at this mess! I'm sorry we soaked you. Hmm? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, here, let me let me try you off.
Uh, Dan, I don't think they're appreciating that. Hmm? Uh, here, I'll use the hairdryer. And done. Well, um, there we go. I am so sorry about all of that. We hope you enjoy our audiobook. Really, Phil? Do you think they'll want more after that? I promise there's no water, fire, or non-consensual ear whispering. <laughs> okay, that I can promise you. Should we take the blindfold off? <sighs> I suppose. Okay. Right, you can open your eyes in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I'm so moist. <laughs> Phil, Sorry. really? <laughs> Thanks for listening to our audiobook trailer. I knew this was a bad idea. Yeah, if you want to get it, you can search the Amazing Book Is Not On Fire audiobook or click one of the links in the description. I promise it will be less invasive and dangerous and terrible than this was. Yes, uh, we should go get dry. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.